Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of Slow Loops. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. This thing is so freaking bright. It's too, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it is unique. I've never heard of someone doing like a fishing thing for a <laughs> Culture festival. Ten kata fishing. But then also, how would that work though? Would they get. Of course, they're not going to get actual fish. I, I feel like what they're probably going to do is get one of those like wind up toy fishes and then put them in the water like oh my god I'm trying to think of a game this toy I had this toy when I was a kid um and it was one of the little things that had like a little so like the fishing rod and at the end of the fishing rod it was like a little magnet and you would take the little fit of the pond with the fish and everything and the fishes also had magnets inside of their mouths and you would wind it up and in, in, I'm trying to think of what else you did. You you wound it up. It would go around in a circle, and then you would catch the fish and stuff. They could do something like that. It's very similar to oh my god, it's that pop up game that you wind up and you're matching the pieces. The pieces, and you only have like a certain amount of time. I don't remember the name of the of that game. I saw that on TikTok like I think a week or two ago. And I was like, oh yeah, the game that gives everybody an anxiety attack when they play. <laughs> oh my god. It's true though. <laughs> And you hear it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, because the picture's in the opening, so we all knew this was going to happen today. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Besides, I feel like the communal one's gonna look so much better than you on you instead of just like the traditional maid type. Yeah, so it's basically, 
it's more of your strength. I mean, well, fishing really is you're using strength from your arms, but I feel like now with that, you're really pulling it in. Mm hmm. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> Or remind me of like you know in Pokemon when you're running around and trying to catch like fish or Pokemon especially water types and then you like you know throw it out cast it out and you're like okay and then you got one and you gotta pull as hard as you can couldn't be me <laughs> you know just to make her two cents <laughs> <laughs> she basically went to go have a conversation with Koi and he <laughs> to come back and prove her classmates wrong. This girl went into it. She was like, we're going to have a heated debate real quick. Mm -mm, I don't like the fact she breathing like that. <laughs> Okay, Aiko is ser seriously hella slim. The Tamoyo of Kirka just like her. <laughs> oh, Futaba, of course. Yeah. Hell, that just reminds me of the first time when I recorded what? <laughs> Kimono Friends? And how big, like, my reactions for Kimono Friends got. And it, it got so nuts that I was so fucking scared to record the last few episodes. I was like, bro, oh my god. <laughs> and literally, you can find those videos all on Miku Nuku and Billy Billy, which is just crazy. I used to always play with one of those when I would go to Walmart or like <laughs> freaking 
Florence or something. <laughs> While we were waiting for something, you could tell I was really bored. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, hey, good things come to those who wait, right? Because basically, I think from what I remember, the cold of the water and the ice and stuff slowly stops its heart beating, correct? They so cute. God, oh, like I can't. <clears throat> Can we see it though? with worms and bugs.
You got this, Yoi. I believe in you, baby. <laughs> You're, yeah, that could work. No, I wouldn't think it is. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Koharu will laugh at you any other way, because come on, it's Koharu. <laughs> That was so cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <gasps> Damn. I know, but still, it was a good start. It was so good. Oh my god. That's the proud parent slash proud best friend slash girlfriend. Living creatures you should never search. Oh my god. I'm so. <laughs> Wow, very artistic. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> I can't. Oh. <gasps> Baby, she looks so cute. Heck, your dad would have took pictures of you too as well. <laughs>
Ooh. That bread looks so good. Good. I was like, hold up, this woman is stepping up on my girlfriend, she's on my turf. Okay, let, let's talk about this real quick. Koharu, it definitely, her idea was a very interesting idea to have something different as that. I love the fact that she used clay to make everything, but what I was expecting more was like horror horror, not, you know, oh, hey, like a parasite and this and anything else from that. The things that you, you know, you're not really supposed to look up about certain animals and such. I was expecting, like, a clay version of, you know, a scary creature or several scary creatures. But, you know, we had to use the fishing. <laughs> I mean, all I will say at the end of the day for Koharu is A for effort. I mean, this episode really focused on the relationship or the characters of... I'm about to say Aiko, <laughs> wrong person. Futaba and Hiyori. I thought this was a very good episode for the both of them, especially with the fact is it was two different things of both of them being challenged against this week. One was Futaba and, you know, her reading in front of a crowd, while for, you know, Hiyori, it's literally trying to have an idea and then, you know, trying to think of, like, good foods for like your culture festival and specifically for your classroom the mackerel thing was a very interesting idea um as someone once again who does not eat fish anymore uh, i mean it looked good if i was not a vegetarian and i would still eat meat which occasionally i still do as a reward for myself and especially if i'm being good um I i'd probably try it it looks very tasty and interesting even though i'm not the biggest like fish person and such it just depends like when I was younger um you know how like when you eat a lot of things when you were a kid and then when you eat it more as like a teenager or an adult um the taste your taste buds change and you're not really into the same things that you used to eat as a kid like I used to have um the cherry flavored Kool-Aid jammers like as a kid and then one day I had them when I was in like middle school and I tasted, I took like one big gulp sip of like one of the Kool-Aid jammers and I hated it because it tasted like effing medicine, like straight up cough syrup medicine. And that's when I realized that my taste buds were messing up on me and changing up. And I was like, yeah, I can't ever drink this. So now I literally cannot like stand the taste of anything that is like artificially cherry Kool-Aid type flavors. So like if someone said, hey Deja, you want Kool-Aid? <laughs> cherry flavored Kool-Aid? I'd be like, no, get that crap away from me. Unless it's like maybe cherry watermelon or whatever or something that's with the cherry 
and I don't taste like cherry up in my throat or smell it or something like that. I'm okay with smelling it. It's fine. It's just more of like the taste of it. That's the same thing with like, I think I used to, I didn't eat fish sticks a lot, but like even now I don't like the taste of fish sticks. Um, but let's say I ever do go to Japan one day and such, um, because I did watch this video on TikTok, like I think what a day or two ago, um, there was this guy who was being really, really disrespectful. Um, he was eating, I think they're called natto beans and he didn't really like the smell, the taste of it and such. And so he said it was like one of the worst things that he's ever tasted. And from what I've learned from watching some shows in the past, plus, you know, everything about in the modern day era as of right now, um, even if you don't like it, try not to gag or anything because it's really disrespectful to, you know, certain people and their cultures and stuff like that. If you don't like it, yeah, then you just say, you know, um, it, it was good, but it wasn't my thing. And that's okay. No one's going to be upset about that. But if you say, like, eh, disgusting, you want to gag and it's like that, like, mm-mm, mm-mm. But, I mean, hey, it's not that bad to try different things. You never know until you try it, yes. I mean, hey, I've tried, like, some... What's the weirdest thing I've tried? Oh. <laughs> the weirdest thing that I have officially tried as of now from the 20... 28 years of my life. This is middle school. I... And I didn't know this at the time. And then looking back at it, I, I, I freaking laugh every time. Um, I was over at a friend's house with my mom. And they made these burgers. And long story short, basically, I ate them. And I didn't know until about maybe two, three years later, finding out it was deer. And honestly, it wasn't bad. Would I eat it again? I don't know. But it wasn't bad. But <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> you never freaking know. And that's why, you know, sometimes I always ask when I go somewhere, I'm like, yeah, what exactly is in this? I need to know. Tell me every little detail from all the way from the beginning to the end of every little thing that is in my food. But yes, for both Koha Koharu, wrong, wrong person, <laughs> Heyori and um, Futaba, this was a really interesting episode with them. I love the fact that, you know, with Futaba and trying to tell Heyori, like, oh my god, like, yeah, I did. Heyori's looking like, what are you talking about, honey? And it's just so cute. It's so precious. I literally want another whole episode before the show ends with the dynamic of those two and their relationship again. Even Aiko coming in like, hold up, you're stepping on my turf. That's my girlfriend. What are you doing? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's so cute to see people get jealous. It's the most adorable thing ever. Like, oh my god, it's so fucking cute. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 10 of Slow Loop. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next either Friday or Saturday, depending on, like, the situation of my schedule for work this week for episode 11. Bye, guys.